So you know how sometimes you do things just because, you know, you want to just see how it turns out or you really do enjoy doing those things. So you just naturally, you know, you just do them because. Um, and well, that's pretty much why I watched Smile was just because, you know, it's it was the next horror film to come out. I had Saw Barbarian. It was, you know, it was fun. It was all right. Uh, I didn't really care for Nope. So Smile was the next film. Right. And uh, went in watching it. And fucking hell was I wrong. That movie was amazing. I really thought it was going to be cheesy and a bunch of people just smiling because it's supposed to be like a ghost story or like a curse story. And fuck, this movie was really, really good. I mean, and it starred Susie, Sozie Bacon, who was apparently Kevin Bacon's daughter. I mean, I had no idea the guy had kids. He has like extra little strips running around. That is ridiculous. So the movie stars Rosie, Rosie Bacon as this doctor who works at this hospital, you know, uh, has it's not really like a mental hospital but it's definitely a hospital where they take care of you know some mental patients and that's pretty much her department and they bring in this uh young woman who is like totally freaking out right she's just going crazy and she explains that she's been seeing this this person smiling at her and it's been taking different forms of people and like smiling at her and you know terrorizing and and ruining her life and I will say that this film, for being the first, it's technically like the directorial debut of the, the guy that directed this movie, uh, Parker Finn. Cool name, by the way. Uh, it's really, it's just really cool how the film starts off. Like, it's a very believable story. The way it's shot, the way it's filmed, it just seems so believable. The story is just so good. But so, she see, she's talking to this woman that's brought in, and she's, you know, going, she's hysterical and everything, and she's like, you know, calm down, tell me what's up, and the girl tells her that about these smiles and this person smiling at her and she ends up committing suicide like right in front of her and it's crazy right like it's just like what like you know if you obviously if you saw someone murder themselves in front of you it would be traumatizing and now this curse as you would say seems like it's been passed on to the doctor like it is very it's such a good movie like you can't really explain it without giving a lot away but it's just a very well paced acted like thought out story i mean apparently it's based off of a short film that the that the director did i mean he only has like two other little indie works to his name and one of them is supposedly the bones of this movie so it's pretty interesting i mean i'm kind of i definitely want to watch the rest of his stuff since you know there's not that much <laughs> but man this film was so good it is a curse story right it is a curse film but the beautiful the beautiful part is is that it's a legit curse film through and through a lot of people say it com it's comparing it's compared to like the ring and it follows which is very true like it is one of the that's why it's so good where it's one of those curse films and horror films where it doesn't end on a happy ending it doesn't end with everyone surviving it doesn't end with the main character being like oh you know i defeated the evil i mean i don't want to give it away but like you know it's it is a very good build-up to what happens in the movie i mean at, at the climax of the movie it is just so well paced the only thing i would honestly say is it was really funny having jesse t usher in this film he was a train right like but he acts like a train in this film like he's an asshole but he's like a good guy and he's an asshole because he's the good guy and it's like damn it bro you always play these characters. it's like the director literally hit him up and he's like hey man i really like your performance in the boys and i like your character in the boys can you just do that but to your wife in a movie <laughs> and uh what's her name was in it uh judy reyes from scrubs that was really cool she, uh, you know we were literally watching scrubs a few weeks ago and it's just like holy shit look did you Judy Rez, hell yeah, you know, um, but other than that, you know, the, yeah, this movie was really fantastic, there's a prison scene where this guy that survived the curse is in prison because of the way that he survived the curse, and his freak out is just awesome totally fucking totally nails it and like you you believe it like you the movie and the way the character goes through everything because she's a psychiatrist because she deals with crazy people now the fact that she's experiencing these hallucinations and these horrifying things it's like of course she feels like she's crazy and she's like okay no 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 i'm, I'm breaking it down i know that what i'm seeing is in my head but it's so real and i don't know how to explain how real it is you know like it's it's a very, very, very good movie. And like I said, the way, the fact that the, the curse keeps going, the fact that the curse doesn't stop, it's just like, fuck yeah. Even when you think it, even when you think it's beaten and defeated, you're like, nah, son, you didn't defeat shit. <laughs> and even the smiles are good. I mean, I know apparently they were doing 
uh, promotion at baseball games where they were having people smile and shit where the cameras were behind the, the or behind the pitcher or whatever, or maybe behind the batter. But it was super freaky. And in the film, there's only a certain amount of times where that smiling takes place. And even the jump scares were just really good. Like the score of the film done by Cristobal Tapia de Ver, whoever this guy is, like, oh my gosh, it is so good so electronic and just like haunting so all the times that things go down it just fits you know it really really fits i don't know if you uh, you know if you guys know who aphex twin is aphex twin is a great german bass artist from back in the day but he has an album where he literally has a smile that's very very similar to the style of smiles that they use in this film and it totally makes you think of it given the way the score is <laughs> yeah the album is called richard t james by aphex twin so definitely check it out but that smile I'm pretty sure this fool wanted that smile to be a part of this movie somehow. <laughs> but yeah, but check it out. I, I can't, I can't. And the way the monster looks, the way the creature, the entity is, is so creepy, so cool. Just it. It just worked, okay? It just really worked. Like, compared to how Barbarian was and what Barbarian made you feel like it was going to be like, that's what this movie totally nailed. I mean, they they just, they totally, the atmosphere of the film, the tone, the pacing, the, the, like, the score, everything just worked and it was, it made it a believable, enjoyable film. But it was so believable and enjoyable that the jump scares and everything really hit. The the ending with the creature really hit. It it just it was just great. So definitely check it out. Smile. The debut from director uh, Parker Finn. I mean Jesus, it's Adventure Time, everybody, but with smiles. <laughs> um, but yeah, check it out. And uh, this has been Ghost and Craig. Thank you so much for tuning in. I just hope that this guy gives people inspiration to make better shit because, again, no offense to the previous movies that have came out. I mean, hell, like I had said, Barbarian was better than Nope. And that was, you know, Zach Krieg, Krieg's de directorial debut. But this movie, being the first guy's debut, was way better than Barbarian. And you want to know why? Because it wasn't funny. <laughs> there, was not, there was not many room for laughs in this film. And that's exactly what I liked about it. But you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. And, uh... uh oh, shit, right. Actually, I was about to say, I kind of feel like, uh... I kind of feel like getting White Castle now. Hmm. Shit.